How's it going, students? Let's learn about solubility curves. Let's first take a look at what our axis is. What are the data? What is the data on our y and our x axis? So when we take a look at the y axis, remember the y axis is our vertical axis. And the information here is grams of solute per 100 grams of H2O. So what this means is the amount of solute that water is able to dissolve. The next thing we want to look at is temperature. So this is the information on our x-axis. So when we take a look at the x-axis, we see that this is the temperature in degrees Celsius. We see it is in increments of 10. We see 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, so on and so forth. So when we look at this graph, it is giving us the amount of grams of a solute that is able to dissolve as the temperature increases. So what we need to do is line up our y and our x-axis to figure out how much of each solute dissolves. So let's take a look at, let's take a look at KCl, potassium chloride. Let's get a starting place. So let's say at zero degrees Celsius, we take a look at the y-axis and we move up. We move up and we see that it is about 28. We'll say 28 grams of KCl is able to dissolve at zero degrees Celsius. And then as we move from left to right, we see that the amount increases a little bit. Uh, for instance, let's take a look at 40 degrees Celsius. And as we go from 40 degrees Celsius, we move up along the y-axis, and we see that about 40 grams is able to dissolve. Let's look at another example. Let's go all the way to 100 degrees Celsius. We're still looking at KCl. Let's line up our y-axis, and we see that it's about 57, maybe? 57 grams of KCl is able to dissolve in 100 grams of water. So that is how you read solubility curves. You first look at the temperature at the x-axis, and then you simply line it up on the y-axis.